Oddly enough, I was not expecting to make a video about this today. So, Atlantis! Yes, we are going to be talking about Atlantis. Why? Because during a uh, reading I did for one of my patrons, I discovered that this past life that they were in was during the fall of Atlantis. And to me, that's exciting because it's like the fall of Atlantis. Well, if there was a fall to Atlantis, that means Atlantis existed in the first place. So you know what? I took it a step further and channeled in some information about Atlantis. So here we are. <laughs> I didn't know that much about Atlantis. The only thing I knew was pretty much about what most people knew, and that was it was a myth of whether it existed or not, and that Plato talked about it here and there, and that it fell in one day and one night. That's all I knew, okay? So, with that being said, the information that I got, uh, yeah, I didn't do any research before my channeling because like I always say if I do that it'll fuck up the channel I get and then I won't know if it's because of me or because of my brain being smart. So yeah I'm gonna give you the history though of Atlantis first. Well the brief history of kind of what we know allegedly according to Plato and then I'm gonna give you the channel I got and what happened. So here we go anyway and I'm looking off my notes because your girl ain't a genius and she ain't gonna memorize every little thing. But anyway, according to Plato, Atlantis was quote unquote um, an advanced civilization that supposedly existed 9,000 years before his time. So ancient Greece, Plato's time, yeah, 9,000 years before that. And it supposedly was the size of Turkey and Libya combined. And by the way, I did some AI renderings of the closest thing I could find of what I saw in my channel to what Atlantis looked like. So I will put them in the video somewhere, somewhere, I don't know. We'll figure this shit out later when I edit. Okay, so yeah, roughly the size of uh, Turkey and Libya together which, you know, that's kind of big, and it was an island. So, you know, according to Plato, he thought, you know, it was maybe the Strait of Gibraltar due to, like, the myths of Hercules and the pillars and whatnot. Um, yeah, so we'll get to what I think about that. It is allegedly, you know, composed of concentric rings, like that like kind of like how the city is positioned, if that makes sense, with a castle in the middle and a temple near that. And theories suggest that this ancient civilization harnessed crystals and used their energy for, you know, powering up their city and healing. Kind of similar to what they suspect that the ancient Egyptians did and what they used the crystals for. So, that is all I have on, like, the history. Now, it is said that Atlantis kind of took some ideas from other ancient civilizations and vice versa. So, okay, Spirit specifically told me that there's a link between Egypt, ancient Egypt, and Atlantis. Whether Egypt was inspired by Atlantis or Atlantis was inspired by Egypt, I don't know which way. But if you think about it, you know how like in, I mean, ancient aliens talk about this and people are like, well, that's not a good source because, you know, that shows kind of a meme in, the, in of itself. And some documentaries point this out about like the tips of the pyramids were like used to harness energy and they were kind of like um, 
generators in a way or like absorbed energy and whatnot and honestly it kind of makes sense that those two ideas would be linked and if you kind of think about it you have ancient civilizations that have similar technologies to one another and the question is how did civilizations that were thousands of miles apart have similar ideas similar deities and so on and so forth and yeah it's because you know culture spreads obviously but i suspect that when it comes to atlantis and other civilizations they kind of borrowed from one another so it makes sense okay now to my channel Atlantis, from what I saw, was very green and fertile. I see almost modern structures like today, but slightly more advanced. So it's not too crazy. It's not like, I don't know, year 2799, not crazy like that. But for the time, so I see almost modern structures like today's, but slightly more advanced. It looked very spacious at the same time. Clean waterways. Not sure if they were canals. Oh, yeah. So I saw waterways and it was like the city. Okay, so there's different parts of Atlantis. You have the main part, which is the stuff with the rings. I did see that. And I did see like the main part of the city have these canals. It gave me Venice vibes with how, you know, the water canals are used to transport you know, goods and be a use of transportation of the little canoes and things. So I saw a lot of that. Um, there's a lot of greenery. So in the pictures I will be showing you, there's a lot of buildings. However, it's like there was a lot of greenery and it was more balanced than what the images show. But it's like there were a lot of trees a lot of shrubbery and whatnot. It was giving like the whole Mediterranean vibe, kind of like island, you know, very clear crystal seas, kind of like seaport kind of situation. And then I saw a lot of rounded archways. So kind of like, whoop. And at first I'm like, what is this? Like what? is this i don't get it and so <laughs> during the channel i was able to move around and there was this part it looked like a park and it was a circle and then it had like this greenery with like this monolith situation in the middle and it looked very important because you had the monolith and then you had like water, like a little fountain or I don't know what the fuck you want to call it, but <laughs> yeah, water. And then out, then we have like trees, park area, water, and then trees. But on the outsides, there were like these arches and there were a few of them. And I'm like, what is going on? And spirit was like, oh, those are doorways for a they're like portals. And I was like, what? Are they physically like portaling around? Like what's going on with that? And they're like, well, they're very spiritual. And um, you know how, okay. So when we actually project, there's doorways. I mean, that's how we get from one place to another. It's like that. And they do a lot of spiritual work or they did a lot of spiritual work. And so those doorways and that monolith are very important though, you know, because I didn't get crazy amounts of information, I'm not quite sure, like, how the, the uh, arch portal door things work with the monolith. I'm wondering if the monolith is kind of like a power source or a power bank or something like that, and it fuels the portals. I'm not quite sure. Y'all can, you know, give your guess, best guesses in the comments. What do you think? Um, is going on in that situation. But so Spirit was showing me them, you know, using those as portals. And like I said, I don't know if they were astrally going through those or physically. But I suspect it was more a metaphysical thing. But, you know, I could be wrong. Because I'm not perfect. 
and da da da. So it looked like they were very happy and peaceful and very respectful of the environment. So they weren't like polluting the shit like we are today. Shame, shame, shame. Um, it looked like they built around as much of the natural environment as they could. Like they respected it enough, unlike um us, who you don't you know don't give two shits. But there was a lot of greenery, and yeah, it looked like they took that shit seriously. Oh, I see, or I saw lots of people wearing whites and like blues and gold. I saw whites, blues, and golds, like outfits and jewelry and things. I guess that was their color. I mean, if they're Mediterranean, I'm trying to think. I know there are some places where the houses are white and you can't like change the color of them, but like they're white. I don't know if it has to do with the sun, but um, yeah. So it kind of would make sense, especially like if they were kind of Mediterranean or like of that kind of area. Now, you also have to take this into account. Back then, so this is 9,000 years before Plato, I'm pretty sure the continents and the locations of, you know, land masses were not in the same position as they were today due to, you know, natural causes such as erosion, um, the tectonic plates moving, earthquakes, natural catastrophic events, flooding, yada 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 so i'm pretty sure that you know the land masses were not technically where they are today but so things weren't where they were which brings me to this point i did see it large uh the island and it was definitely an island plato was guesstimating that it was the size of turkey and libya combined honestly how I saw it was more the size of Libya or Turkey, one or the other, not both of them combined. I didn't see it massive. Like I didn't, I, I mean, it was big, but it, <laughs> that's what she said, but I didn't see it with those two countries combined. Okay. Okay. But part of me also feels like it was in that general area I don't think it was near um, the Strait of Gibraltar. I think it was out, I would say, Westmore. I think it was more off the coast of, like, Africa than it was, you know. I feel like it was pretty close to the equator. Not, not crazy, but I do feel like it was very warm and it was like that all year round. It was giving me tropical vibes. It was giving me, like... Greece vibes, like with the climate. It was warm. So Plato mentions it fell in a day and a night because of an earthquake and serious flooding. Now, I didn't know how it fell, I just knew it fell. And what I got, specifically in the reading, because the reading focused on the fall of Atlantis, it showed me a massive earthquake and then the city flooding like fucked like if you think about it if you have a country or city full of canals that tells me that the you know land is pretty much at sea level which means if it floods yeah there's gonna be a problem and that's how I saw it I saw the earthquake I saw buildings toppling over things sinking due to bad flooding taking over the city. But, but, if that wasn't bad, what was left, which wasn't a lot, like not, not a lot, but like books and remnants of debris and like things as proof that this civilization existed, I saw what was left being burned, like books burning, I saw, like, shit being thrown out to sea for no one to find it. Um, people being very greedy and... Mm, hold up. Dude. Okay, spirit 
be talking to me right now. Why are we going back to the friggin' Freemasons? What about the Freemasons? The Freemasons have proof or pieces? The Freemasons have something that belongs to Atlantis. What the fuck? Y'all, I would, I wish I could be like, y'all hearing this? Hold up, hold the fuck up. What, what? No. Why would the Freemasons have their shit? Or any of it? Only of the only the highest of the highest? Not something that your regular Freemason would have. Okay. Like the highest of the highest tier. As high as you can go. They got ancient relics. Interesting. Y'all be learning at the same time. I am okay. Anything else? They're like, mm, no. Mm, they wanted to say something, but then they're like, mm, I've said too much. It's like, no, you haven't. Keep going. Like, don't stop. Come on, bring in the information. You know, when I was channeling, okay, let's be real. So I was doing the reading for my uh, patron. You know who you are. Hi. <laughs> um, so after I did that, I was like, I have to know more. And when it comes to doing past things, I have to meditate with something as old as or as close as to the age of that place or something that's been in the ground that has that knowledge because um psychometry <laughs> um so I got my geode <laughs> I don't know how old it is but it's been in the ground for a long time so it's seen some shit and I had to meditate with my geode for like two hours just to get this little bit of information I'm not kidding, y'all. Sometimes the shit comes fast. Sometimes the shit don't come at all. Sometimes I need a little rock to help me or crystal. And so that's what I did. Um, but yeah. But yeah, the remnants, the jealous um, civilizations, the greedy really did not want this information out there. Why? Because they like control. And when you can control people, you pretty much can do whatever you want. So one of the main reasons... Other civilizations pretty much try to hide the remnants from Atlantis was because they didn't want it, any of this stuff, to get in the hands of other civilizations, other countries, other lands, because they didn't want them using that technology against them. They thought if other places had gotten their hands on their technology, they would try to recreate it and thus become not only competition, but a threat. And, well, the less threat you have, the better. So that was pretty much the main focus and the main reason. And that's why they try to hide it and burn it and all that shit. There was some book burning. Spirit be talking to me again. Yo. You know what they just told me? They said, okay, so you know how like we have Atlantis and how it was destroyed and then we have other civilizations that rise up and then something happens to them and blah, blah, blah. the great flood that's in the Bible. No, that's not the same that destroyed Atlantis. Just, just going to throw that out there. But they're saying, um, by the way, you have these great catastrophic events that flatten civilizations and they just come back. And they find it very interesting how each civilization is so different, but also the same at the same time. Yeah, so they're like, yeah, so we have these ancient civilizations, something wipes them out, and then something new emerges. Which, I mean, it makes sense. But before us, it was somebody else. You had the Mayans, the Incans, the Egyptians. Before them, you know, you had other civilizations you know, that were just as technologically savvy as kind of we are now, but in a different manner. That was my, that was my Atlantis channel. And uh, yeah, that's what I got. So guys, please leave your thoughts, comments, concerns down below. I'm curious to know what you have to say about this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I am curious to know if you've
had any channels or any experiences about Atlantis. I'm very curious. I want to know what you guys think. But anyway, if you lasted this long, thank you so much for watching this video. And this is the first video of Shocktoberfest. Whee! And I'm going to try to do one every single day. But we'll see how that works because I'll probably burn out, but I don't want to. Peace out. If you really like these types of videos, I highly recommend checking out Uncovering the Truth about the Bermuda Triangle, where I go in with my guides and they show me the truth and we discover some really interesting things and you're not going to want to miss it.